Republican Representative Carrie Seekins Crow held a news conference outside the Capitol Monday, where she sharply criticized social media posts and media outlets that she says took her statements out of context and assumed her motives without checking with her. This experience should be a lesson and a warning, a lesson to those living in the false reality of Twitter and online media and those in the mainstream media who amplify unverified sources do better. On March 23rd, Seekins Crow carried Senate Bill 99 on the House floor. She responded to opponents of the bill who argued that withholding gender-affirming care from transgender youth could lead to a higher risk of suicide. She said her own daughter had struggled with thoughts of suicide. Someone once asked me, wouldn't I just do anything to help save her? And I really had to think. And the answer was, no. I was not going to give in to her man emotional manipulation because she was incapable of making those decisions and I had to make those decisions for her. Seekins Crow's daughter is not transgender. Last week, posts on social media began recirculating a clip of those remarks, and some assumed that her daughter had been transgender, which was not accurate. Seekins Crow says she has received repeated threats. Calls, emails, messages, uh, every source to me, to my family members, to family that's out of state. My daughter has been tremendously harassed in, in ways that are unimaginable. She said she has a strong relationship with her daughter and further elaborated on what she said in March. I would not let her do things that were destructive to her behavior because she needed help. So what I would do was everything for my daughter and I did everything for my daughter. And it was a struggle, but we made it together. In a video posted on social media since deleted, Seekins Crow's daughter confirmed she was not transgender and said this part of her life was more than a decade ago and she is now doing well. Despite what has happened, Seekins Crow told MTN she did not regret telling the story. And right now we need to message that, that our children are in, in crisis, our families are in chaos. And we need to figure out what those resources are. That was probably part of the problem is I didn't know what those resources were. I did not know where to go as a parent. SB 99, signed by the governor last week, has led to emotional and often heated discussion throughout the session. It's the same bill that Democratic Representative Zoe Zephyr was speaking in opposition to when she made the remarks that led to House leaders declining to recognize her on the House floor. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.